Coast Cards Award winner Muhammad Faiz Subri has returned to Malaysia after receiving this prestigious award from Zurich. He's having a press conference here at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport on Wednesday to do a little catch up before flying off to Penang again. Let's see what he has to say. When Faiz was asked about him being bashed for his fumbling and non fluent English during his speech in Zurich, he said what others wish to comment is beyond his control. Youth and Sports Minister Kari Jamaluddin, who was also present at the airport to receive Faiz, disregard the cruel remarks. Saya rasa yang bagi kritikan ni, mereka ni tak pernah menang anugerah di peringkat dunia. Ya. Jadi siapa saja yang 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 membuat kecaman tentang benda yang remeh ni, dia patut melihat kepada uh, kepada pengiktirafan yang Pak Es dah bawa kepada negara Malaysia. Dan mereka ini sebenarnya tak ada apa-apa sumbangan yang sama dengan apa yang Pak Es dah buat. Ya. Kari adds that it's quite rare for the Malaysian football to receive such good news. And the award proves that there is a ray of light for the country's football. Faiz received 100,000 ringgit from the Youth and Sports Ministry and 50,000 ringgit from the Football Association of Malaysia, or FAM, as an incentive. With his physics defying goal during the match in a Super League match in Georgetown, he is now an inspiration to the young footballers. Sepakkan free kick dia tu susah nak buat. Kalau nak buat macam tu, kita kena berlatih aa, dengan lebih banyak untuk membuat free kick macam tu. Saya rasa rasa macam nak jadi macam dia sebab saya bermain bola sepak juga. Bagi saya, aa, Faiz Zubri, dia telah tunjuk dekat semua orang yang rakyat Malaysia yang dia boleh buat, kenapa kita tak boleh buat. I'm sure to most Malaysians, Faiz has already banded so much better than Beckham. We know Malaysians will keep supporting him and hope that he will continue to make milestones and take the country's football industry to a greater height. This is Tina Lo reporting from Star TV.